Well, I moved here eight years ago, partly because of the transport links being, having the Northern Line going into the city and also into the West End, having the Overland, which runs south to Brighton and to Gatwick and north to Luton. It was kind of very convenient, both for me at the time and also for when I wanted to sell the place, it would be convenient for whoever wanted to buy it from me. Plus the parks, plus the nightlife or the up and coming nightlife, it just kind of all, it all fitted together well for me. Kennedy Town is a very exciting place to live, real cosmopolitan area. You have fantastic transport links into the city. You have the C2 bus, with, uh, which leaves from Highgate, takes you right into the centre of London. You have the Northern Line, we're on Zone 2 in Kentish Town. Um, you can take the, the steady, good regular service straight into Bank in the mornings, as far out as High Barnet if you want to come back out of London. Um, and then you have the Thameslink as well. You have, you have Kentish Town West, which gives you a feed into Stratford. And you have Kentish Town International, St Pancras, which will take you further afield via Eurostar. I used the underground to get to London Bridge to get the train to the south coast. And I close to the motorway so I can drive up towards Birmingham. Um, I also have an office in Hatton Garden, so yeah, the, the overland train to Farringdon takes eight minutes. I think a key component to any thriving high street is, is a post office, which is still present in, in Kentish Town Road. There is a Sainsbury's, a Tesco, co-op, an Iceland. I think the high street has a, a nice mix of independent retailers. You have uh, the coffee houses that people t tend to associate with. Close by to our office you have the Forum, which is a very, very popular music venue, an iconic landmark in the London area. So my name is Steve McGonagall. I'm the general manager here at Ladies and Gentlemen. Um, and it started with the owner, Willie Burrell, who just lives up the road, uh, coming down, realising that it was a derelict space and had the idea to do something with it. And we sort of just built it from there really. It's an unusual space uh, that I think we've made very comfortable. I think people like like to be here, they like to drink in here. The cocktails are really good. Staff are always really friendly. Clientele are mostly locals. Uh, we have had a few people come up from Soho which was um, flattering. 18 year olds to 80 year olds and everyone comes in and enjoys everything all the same so it's, it's nice. So Kentish Town has got a real community vibe not like anywhere else in London. Uh, I've, that I've lived anyway. Um, it's one of the only areas, and I guess sort of Camden is, is in there a little bit as well, where you can walk up the street and, and see two or three people that you know and, and say hello to them. It's something for everybody. You, you don't really need to leave that high street. You, you could do your daily shop um, w within the confines of, of Kentish Town, you know, at, at your doorstep, certainly. We're a family-run business. There's the two of us, my mum and myself. We've been here um, for 18 years. We have a very unique bead and embroidery shop. Um, not very many of those left in the country at all. Kentish Town is brilliant. It's just a good all round, safe community where everyone is amazing. Everyone's friendly and you've got some great, unique shops down the road. From a butcher to hairdressers to health food shops, great restaurants. We've got Italian down the road. We've got a chicken shop the other side, which is amazing. I'm enjoying the quality of restaurants and the people that have come with it. So Pizza East recently opened and Chicken Shop and Dirty Burger, which is part of the Soho House group. It's got a certain cachet and because of that, it's bringing certain types of people to the area, not only to those restaurants, but also to the bars around here. And so the nightlife's improved, the calibre of persons improved. It's more fun and I'm enjoying that reasons that families move to the area, you've got superb schools, you've got a mix of strong primary and secondary education. Two to mention would be Eleanor Palmer Primary School, it's a mixed school, Ofsted outstanding and you have Camden School for Girls which um, recent A-level results were, were also superb so there's no necessity to go private to have a strong state option in your catchment or close to where you live has to be a bonus. Both my children went to Camden School for Girls, one of them's still there at the moment doing A-levels. Really loves it, really good down-to-earth school. About five to seven minutes walk north of Kentish Town is Hampstead Heath, which is arguably the most impressive green area in London. Once you're in the Heath, you feel like you're in the middle of the countryside. There's a family atmosphere, particularly on a weekend. You see people flowing into to Parliament Hill Fields. There's a lot to do, there's, there's options for everybody, there's tennis, you've got large play area, there's a cafe there, um, fantastic views of London, so you still, it reinforces that fact that you're so central. And then there's all the tourist stuff that's in Camden, be it the Staples Market, be it the Roundhouse restaurant and uh, theatre, the 
bar scene. Camden Town is like a North London hub and Kentish Town being slightly away from it means you're not kind of right in it in amongst all the tourists, but it's there when you need it. So we have the, the bustle of Camden if you want that, and then we have the quietness of Ham Hampstead Heath where you can just go up and have a picnic. You've got the views from up there. For those who like to use the gym, there is an LA Fitness just north of Kentish Town Station. But a lot of people use Parliament Hill Fields. You have lottery funded track and field facilities there. There's open water lakes as well as Hampstead Heath for people who like to swim. Um, in a less artificial environment than a swimming pool. For whatever your interest, there is um, opportunity to partake. There's also a nice mix of property styles. There's a lot of you know, period housing that makes superb conversions, um, interesting properties that, that appeal to the younger market. You can't re replicate that with new builds. These, these properties are 150 years old. Lots of activities around, the library's fantastic. Yes, we still have a library on the high street, which is amazing. Um, it's just a great place to live. I would definitely recommend people to come and live here. I mean, it definitely depends who you are, but um, between uh, the community vibe that you can just feel when you're out in the street, um, the amenities themselves, the pubs and bars, the restaurants even as well, um, all within a really good walking distance of each other. Um, and the fact that as soon as you step foot in one of them, you'll begin to start to know the whole community. Um, and I really like that about Kentish Town. And the you know, added appeal with Kentish Town is that it still feels, uh, doesn't feel, it's, not, it's not false, it feels real, it, it, it suits families, it suits young professionals, and it's, it's still a place to live. Um, people feel that they have the nice balance of parks, open spaces, yet a stone's throw from town. There's something for everyone, from all, from all spectrum of ages and demographics, I definitely recommend living here.